hello friends and families how are you all doing happy sunday it's your girl estelle and i hope you're all doing good so i'm back again this week with a new video and a new recipe to share with you all today's recipe as you all know from the title is how to make chunky okra soup with tilapia and mackerel fish and also the okra soup i'm going to show to you today is going to be less slimier than usual and uh, as always i'm pretty sure if you watch the video till the end you would love this recipe and you may want to give it a try so my friends without further ado let me show you how to make it so friends and families to get started into my bowl i've got my tilapia fish and mackerel fish which i have already pre-washed and cut into pieces and uh, to help season my fish i'm going to add few seasoning and the first ingredient i will be adding is some salt to taste a tablespoon of grounded black peppercorn one tablespoon of north seasoning powder and here is a blended of garlic and ginger and i'm going to add some to it as well and i will be adding roughly a tablespoon and the rest i will save it for later and here I've got a blended of white onions and uh, I will be adding two and a half tablespoon to it and to that I will be adding some chopped basil guys trust me if you put basil to your fish prior to marinating it will give you a very nice tasty smell and leave your fish fresh also if there is any unwanted smell it will take it out so then I will proceed to give it a good mix until everything is well mixed and once it's well mixed i will cover it and set it aside to marinate and i will marinate this for roughly two to four hours and next i'm going to show you how to get the okra ready prior to adding it to the stew and here is my okra which i've as you can see is been cut in a chunky shape <laughs> and um, I'm going to add this into my cooking pot and once I add it into the cooking pot uh, at this point this is where you're supposed to add your bicarbonate soda but if you want your okra to be less slimy then uh, don't add the bicarbonate soda because that will make your okra more slimy also the other way of keeping your okra less slimy is cut your okra in a chunky shape just like mine right now and that will reduce the amount of sliming you want in your soup so to that i will be adding a bit of water about half of cup of water then i will cover it and let it boil between three to five minutes okay guys it's now time to check it's been five minutes since this is boiling and next it's time to add some spinach and i'm using african spinach uh, i was lucky to get this in my local african shop usually you would not get it there when you go i normally use the local normal spinach but i was lucky to get this in my local african shop and uh, this is how it looks like it's a bit bigger than the normal spinach but don't worry guys if you can get hold of this spinach in your local african shop just use your normal spinach and that would do it as well so I'm going to add the spinach and I'll give it a stir and uh, at this point I've lowered the heat because I don't want to overcook my okra and uh, I'll follow up by adding some sliced white onions and uh, some chopped green bell pepper and I've used only one for this part and next I'll be adding four green Scott Bono peppers give it a stir and after stirring I'll cover it and uh, basically turn the fire off and let the remaining heat from the pan cook the rest and that's it only five minutes worth of cooking and it's enough to get our okra ready for the soup 
Okay guys, so next it's time to start my soup base. And here I've got some palm oil and I'm going to add it into my cooking pot. Next is a combination of fermented and dried fish. And uh, this is the part where I told you about getting the inspiration from the Nigeria and uh, Ghanaian cooking. So the one of the fish is stockfish, which is mostly used in the Nigerian cooking. And the other fish is your Kobe, which is the tilapia fish that you see has been fermented and uh, dried and uh, these two ingredients will give you a very nice delicious and healthy okra soup in my hometown we normally use dried fish but yeah it's good to learn and i've tried this before and it's really nice and um, it's my pleasure to share this with you so i'm going to add them in give it a stir and after stirring it, i will add some dried bay leaves and uh, next i'll be adding some gray fish powder that is also used more in the nigerian cooking which i love the smell at this stage <laughs> and next Next, I've got some grated fresh tomatoes and to that I will be adding some of the blended white onion I add to the fish earlier on. And next is my homemade green seasoning. Most of you guys that didn't see the video about how I make my homemade seasoning. And uh, I would link the video at the end of this video so that you can follow up and see how I made it and to that I will be adding some of my blended garlic and ginger paste which I used earlier on and I will give it a stir and after stirring it I will cover it and cook it for two to three minutes okay guys it's time to check our stew base and it's been three minutes since I'm boiling this and I will follow up and give it a quick stir and uh, after stirring it it's time to add our marinated fish which is the tilapia and our mackerel fish and uh, after adding it I will add the remaining stock that was left in the bowl and then I will follow up by adding some prawns and after adding the prawns I will add manor seasoning and this is the one I normally use it's really tasty guys try it and you would like it you will find it easily in your local African shop or some of the supermarket in your local area and to that I will once again add a bit of my ginger and garlic paste and basically I will prevent stirring inside so instead of stirring it I will just lift the pot and shake it this way to get it well mixed then uh, once it's well mixed I will cover it and let it cook for about five to ten minutes fish doesn't take really time to cook so that amount of minutes should be enough for your fish to get almost cooked okay guys it's time to check our fish and um, at this stage it's been uh, 10 minutes since I'm cooking this on a medium heat and uh, it's almost cooked so I'm going to follow up by transferring my okra to you and after transferring it at this stage be careful when you're stirring your soup because you do not really want to break your fish so after stirring it this is the remaining of my blended garlic and ginger and I'm going to add that and that will really freshen up your soup and uh, give it a very aromatic and delicious smell mm. <laughs> and then to that i will add the green scott bono peppers and voila my soup is ready <laughs> so i'm going to turn off the heat and uh, i will let it cool down slightly before serving and i will be serving this today with uh, some pounded yum which is one of my favorite but you can serve this with banku, a kabato, plakali, and uh, other side of your favorite swallow, and uh, it will taste delicious, guys. <laughs> and uh, as always, I will list all the ingredients in the description box so you can go and check them out. All right, friends and families. I hope you've liked today's video give it a try and if you ever give it a try leave me a comment in the comment section below and let me know how it has turned out whether you like it or not also don't forget to give my video a thumbs up if you've liked today's recipe and uh, also share the video with your friends and families and uh, if you are new to my channel and if this is your first time watching my video 
thank you so so much for tuning up and uh, please don't forget to subscribe like the video and uh, also share my videos with your friends and families all right friends and families until then i will catch up with you in the, my next video bye all